Hello everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. How are you guys doing? I am so excited since today will be my first video of unboxing. I got this order from Plik like a month ago. It took quite a long time to have the boxes delivered, but finally they are here. And I'm so glad that now I will be able to show you guys what I've got from this order. There are two big boxes. No, actually one big and one small. But those are from the same orders. They just boost up separately in two boxes. And yeah, I'm quite surprised when I receive the boxes because they look so big and I'm confused. I only order a couple of stuff. But when I open it, yeah, it's, they actually deliver the right stuff that I ordered. Here are all the stuff from the first box. And now I am going to open the second one. And also, I left the sound on so that you can enjoy a little bit of unboxing ASMR. <laughs> So here are all the stuff that I got from the deliveries. Um, there's only four items from this order. Um, hey, don't laugh at me. I know that it's kind of very small order compared to the other unboxing video from the other YouTubers. I know, but I still want to show you anyway. And here is the first thing that I've got. This is a set of Windsor and Newton acrylic. Actually, I've never used acrylic before. I used wash before and I know that wash is kind of similar to acrylic to some extent, but I don't really like wash that much. And when I'm on Pinterest, I found a lot of acrylic paintings and I absolutely love the look of those paintings and I also took a couple glasses of acrylic painting on Skillshare and I feel like I really like it so I thought I should give it a try that's why I went on Blick and ordered a set of acrylic paints for me there's actually a lot of brands of acrylic paints on the website and it's kind of overwhelming I don't really know what to choose but I think that the Windsor and New and these is quite familiar to me because I use their watercolor and they are pretty good and well-known brands so I decided to go uh, to them for a liquid as well this set has 10 tubes and each tube is two ounces as you can see how they are 10 colors and they are pretty good for beginners like me I actually like to order any pants in set because they have a decent number of colors for a beginner to try out to explore and experiment and as you can see they have a pretty nice colors too I can see they have all the primary colors like red, yellow, and blue, which is good because with from those colors you can actually mix into a different colors as well. This set cost me $26.20 on Blick, so that means it would be around $2.60 for each before tax. And look at how big the tube is compared to my watercolor tube. <laughs> I think for acrylic, we have to use a lot of pens because we don't actually mix them with water. That's why the tube are quite big. And next is the set of brushes. I wanted to order this set to use specifically for 
acrylic as well I don't really want to use the same brushes that I use for watercolor but I want them to be separate so I decided to order a new set of brushes I believe this is also the product of Blick and they come in variety of shape you can see they have flat shape they have round brush and some liner brush so that you can add some detail two of the brushes got a very long handle compared to the others and i got this one for $19.99 And next is a bottle of gesso. This is a liquid that you use to prep the paper or the canvas before you move on with the acrylic painting. So this is quite a big one. And, and this one cost me about $15.07. And finally, I got myself also a watercolor sketchbook. I don't know about you guys, but when it comes to watercolor, I like to test different papers and this sketchbook is in a5 size and it has 30 sheets which means 60 pages and um, as you can read it's a natural white watercolor paper but I don't see that it's mentioned 100% cotton so probably it's not so let's see how it looks inside and the Hanamu, I'm sorry, I'm not really sure how to spell this. I'm just gonna say it Hanamu watercolor sketchbook. I've been hearing about this sketchbook a lot on YouTube through art haul or art review stuff. So I decided to just give it a try. As you can see, the cover is black and it has some sort of texture in it. I think I when I touch it, I think it feels like fabric. I think it is fabric. And they also have like a string so that you can secure the sketchbook when you close it, which is good. And let's open it. And here is the paper first impression I think it's very good the paper is quite thick and if you look close up they also have a string so that you can mark the page and here is the close-up of the paper you can see it has texture so I think that is probably 100% cold press not 100% cotton I mean it's cold press um, and now I am going to try out the paper by painting something on it I'm gonna make some sort of floral painting on my first page of sketchbook to see how it looks and how it performs hmm to be honest I actually don't feel anything very special or outstanding about this sketchbook especially this paper um, it's not that bad but like it doesn't really make me like wow this is good like I remember the first time I tried the Windsor and Newton sketchbook wow I I remember that time is that I I am actually impressed with the paper I think probably because this one is not 100% cotton so I feel like the pens it's not really absorbed into the paper that well you can actually see some of the watermark here but I mean I still think that it's okay especially for my style I don't mind these marks and in the end I think the painting looks pretty good on this paper the color is vibrant enough um, yeah I don't hate it I think that I will use it more for my practice but in terms of anything special or outstanding I don't think that it is it's just like any regular normal student grade paper I think watercolor paper 
I actually feel like it's kind of similar to Canson Excel. I don't know. I don't know if you ever use it. Comment below if you feel the same, or you think that this actually works for you. And yeah, that's pretty much how I think about this paper when I first try it. And now, since I still have some space left, I'm just gonna doodle and、uh, pen something to fill up the first page of my sketchbook. And yeah, that's is it for today's video. I hope that you enjoy it. And if you do, don't forget to give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel to see more video like this in the future. And thank you so much for watching. I will see you in my next video. Bye.